Hello everyone. Welcome to day 24th of October Lead Code Challenge and let's try and understand today's question. Today's question is count complete tree nodes. In this question, we are given a complete binary tree and we need to identify the number of nodes that exist in this tree. It's a highly misunderstood question because people fail to interpret the definition of complete binary tree. And I think that on lead code it's not very clearly specified. Let's go through this definition and we will conclude whatever the question is trying to say in the presentation. So stay tuned. According to Wikipedia, every level except possibly the last is completely filled in a complete binary tree and all nodes in the last level are as far left as possible. It can have between 1 to 2 raised to power h nodes inclusive at that last level. So couple of constraints that are specified in the question. First it says that it is completely filled, each level is completely filled and all the nodes in the last level are, are as far as left possible. These are two important points that we should remember and let's try and look at the algorithm by the presentation that I have created for this. I'll be explaining each and every bit of it in the PPT. Also the question says we, our algorithm should run with time complexity which is less than order of n. Had we had to do it in order of n, we could have done a simple in order, pre order, post order reversal and counted the number of nodes that I have done here, which is not the right way to solve this question. Although the solution gets accepted, but the question has given this constraint, so we have to abide by this constraint. Now let's look at the PPT. Count complete three nodes, lead code triple two. Let's try and understand the definition of a perfect binary tree and we will be using some properties of a perfect binary tree to help us devise the algorithm. So a perfect binary tree is a binary tree where each node has exactly two children. None of the node has a single children or no children except the last leaf node. At leaf node, both the children of every node is null. And I want to ask you one question here. If you know the depth of the complete binary tree, can you count the number of nodes that are given to you? The answer is yes. Let's try and understand how. Let's assume we are given the depth as 1, 2 and 3 as in this case. So the number of nodes that exist in this tree would be 2 raised to power 3 minus 1. And that would be that would equate to 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 8 minus 1, 7. And let's count those up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is in place with this algorithm. Just remember this formula for a complete binary tree of height h, the number of nodes that exist in this tree would be 2 raised to power h minus 1. The tree that is shown here is an example of complete binary tree. And let's try to confirm this by the definition that was specified in the question. The question said all the nodes except the last level nodes are as left as possible, which is true in this case. You can see that all the nodes in the last level are as left as possible. Had this four been attached to this position, it would have resulted in a non-complete binary tree. Therefore, this tree abides by the constraint of complete binary tree and now let's look at the algorithm the actual algorithm that we are going to follow and we will also conclude how is this method that we created that the total number of nodes in a perfect binary tree would be equal to 2 raised to power h minus 1 is helping us come up with the algorithm so let's take this particular tree what we will do uh, let's assume we are at the starting of the root node we will go in both the directions, the left as well as the right and we will calculate the height of its leftmost leaf node. The height of the leftmost leaf node would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would give us 4. What is the height of the rightmost leaf node? The height of the rightmost leaf node is 1, 2, 3. As you can clearly see, there is a mismatch between these two cases. So how do we solve this mismatch? How do we count the number of nodes? What we will do in such a case, the 
total number of nodes would be equal to the nodes returned by its left subtree, the nodes returned by its right subtree plus one. Because there is no formula that can tell us the number of nodes that exist whenever there is a mismatch. Let's go one level deep where we can see the equality getting happened. So let's talk about this left subtree. So we will again follow the same approach. We will search for the height of its leftmost leaf node. The height of the leftmost leaf node is 3. What is the height of its rightmost leaf node? The height of the rightmost leaf node is again 3. So there's a ma matching case. Both of them are equal. Now we know that this tree, this subtree is a perfectly aligned binary tree. And whenever we know this, that any subtree is a perfectly aligned binary tree, we can use the formula. So what is the formula? The formula is 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 where 3 represents the height of that tree. So the total number of nodes that exist in this part of the subtree would be 7. So we are pretty good on this that without actually counting or traversing through all the subtrees, we can conclude that the total number of nodes that will exist in this subtree would be 7. Now let's do the same thing for the right child of 1. The right child of 1 is 9 and you can you will do the same thing. You will identify the depth of its rightmost child. The rightmost leaf node would be 12 and the depth would be 2. The depth of its leftmost child leaf node would be 2 again. So you will use the same formula 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1 and it will give you 3. Why can we use this formula? We can use this formula because the depths are coming to be equal. And uh, we can conclude the total number of nodes that exist at 9 would be 3. So this would give us 3, this would give us 7 and the total number of nodes that exist at this particular node would be equal to 7 plus 3 plus 1 which would be 11. And this is expected, you can confirm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. To conclude, what do we do? We start from the root of the binary tree and we count the height of its leftmost leaf node. The leftmost leaf node is 9. We'll identify the height of its rightmost leaf node, it's 12. And whenever there's a matching case that both the heights are equal, we can use the formula 2 raised to the power h minus 1 to count the number of nodes. Had there been a case where the equality doesn't hold true, what we will do, we'll go in its left subtree, we'll count the number of nodes will go in its right subtree, will count the number of nodes, add those together up and plus one for the current root, that will be the total number of nodes that exist from this particular root node. For better understanding, let's take another example. So let's assume this is the binary tree that is given to us. What is the height of its leftmost child? The height of its leftmost child is 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the, what is the height of its rightmost child? The, the height of its rightmost child is 1, 2, 3. It's a mismatching case. So you can't use the formula. You'll have to go in its left subtree and the right subtree respectively. So let's go towards its left subtree first. What is the height of its leftmost child? The height of the leftmost child is 1, 2, 3. What is the height of its rightmost child? The height of the rightmost child is 4, uh, is, is 2, because the rightmost child is 4 in this case. So it's again a mismatching case. You can't use the formula. So let's go a level deeper. Uh, we are at three and we will count the height of its leftmost child. The count of the height of its leftmost child is two. The height of its rightmost child is again two. It's a mismatching case. You'll use the formula two raised to the power two minus one. So the number of nodes that exist at three are is three. Let's do it for its right child as well. So we will identify the height of its leftmost child, the height of its leftmost child is 2, the height of its rightmost child is none. So it's a mismatching case, we'll have to go a level deep. So this would return 1 and this would return 2. It will iterate through this subtree and then it will return 1 from it and 1 gets added by virtue of this. So from 4 we have 2 nodes and from 3 we have 3 nodes. So we'll add those up and plus one for this part of the root node and three plus two plus one is six. So this will have six 
and this will give 6 to its parent. Let's go in its right child as well. So we are at 9. What is the height of its leftmost child? The height of its leftmost child is 2. The height of its rightmost child is again 2. It's, mis it's a matching case. We can use the formula 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1. That will give us 3. So 3 plus 6 plus 1 is gives us the answer which is 10 in this case. Let's count to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 which is in sync with the expected result. Can we conclude the complexity of this approach? The answer is yes. We will use this example to conclude the complexity. Uh, we are identifying the depth of its leftmost child and its rightmost child at each node. So for calculating the depth, the complexity is order of log n. And what would be the worst possible case? The worst possible case would be that we have to iterate over to the bottom and use the formula 1 plus count of left subtree plus right subtree. For iterating towards the bottom, the complexity again takes log n. So the total complexity becomes log n into log n. Now let's look at to, to the coding section. The coding section is equally interesting and very simple. So let's move on to that part. If my root happens to be null, I simply return 0. Otherwise, I go and initialize the height variable to 1. I initialize the left uh, variable to root dot left and my right variable to again root dot right. Till the time my left is not equal to null and my right is not equal to null, I move the left pointer towards the left of left and the right pointer towards the right of right. This will help us identify the depth up till which both of the heights are equal and with each each while loop I increment the variable of height. So once I am out of this what would be the state of left and right for, it, for the case of perfect binary tree left would be null and right would also be null. So instead of this we should write this as well left equals to null and right equals to null. If that is the case, that simply signifies that it's a case of perfect binary tree. We'll use the formula math dot pow 2 raised to power height minus 1. Otherwise, we will go and write for the negative case where we can't use the formula 1 plus the number of nodes in its right subtree, the number of nodes in its left subtree. Let's try this up. accepted 100% faster which looks awesome this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye